Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's Running Reviews. Today we're taking a look at one of the most interesting running shoes I've ever used. It's the On Cloud Monster. Let's run with it. Now before we get started, I do want to say that these shoes were provided to me by Roadrunner Sports. However, I didn't have a chance to preview this video and this final synopsis is my own. I'd also like to say please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. Here we go. The Cloud Monster is a brand new shoe from On Running. It's essentially a max cushion neutral road running shoe that looks pretty darn impressive or a little bit different compared to most other shoes that they're making. They're starting to kind of push into these higher stack height or thicker midsole shoes, especially with that unique Cloud Tech technology. Kind of has the Frankenstein vibes going on here with the purple and green. Personally, I think it looks pretty cool, uh, but it's a pretty bold design here. This $170 shoe only weighs 9.7 ounces, which is pretty good considering how large it is. Now, with regard to the stack heights, it's about 30 millimeters in the heel with a six millimeter drop from the heel to the toe. And I say about 30 millimeters because, I mean, there's holes in the midsole, so it's not 30 millimeters of cushioning, it's just 30 millimeters of stack height, if that makes sense. So, uh, kind of an interesting setup. They don't necessarily publish it on the on running website, but it is. According to some measurements, about 30 millimeters in the heel with, again, a six millimeter drop from the heel to the toe, bringing you to about 24 millimeters in the forefoot. And as a fun side note, about a third of the shoe is made from recycled materials. The upper on the Cloud Monster is very thin and breathable. There's technically two layers. The top layer is kind of like a plasticky, really thin mesh. And then underneath that, you have a more fabric uh, tightened knit mesh that's a little bit more comfortable to the touch. Now it does connect to the tongue. So the tongue is fully gusseted. It's all part of that secondary material underneath this outside mesh. So you have a really seamless kind of feel from the tongue all the way up into the toe box. And with the fit of the upper, it feels really great in the midfoot, good lockdown. However, I will say that the forefoot has a little bit or a smidge too much volume to it from side to side uh, it does taper towards the end of the toe box so it does have I guess if you have like larger toes it might not be ideal but the width of the shoe itself uh, is just on the I guess slightly more wide side of things the tongue on the Cloud Monster is paper thin, very breathable, and fully gusseted. It essentially connects into the liner that goes through the entire shoe and that thin layer of mesh that is underneath the upper you see on the outside. So you get a really consistent, seamless feel uh, with regard to the tongue. And again, because the tongue is so thin, you can practically see through it. It basically kind of has a mesh design that kind of ties in with the theme of the rest of the upper being very light, thin, and breathable. Now, my only qualm with the tongue itself is that because it is so thin, if you tie the laces very tight, you do get some lace pressure on the top of your foot. And speaking of the lacing, they did a good job. I will say that they probably could have added a few more eyelets for just some additional lacing options so you get a little bit more lace coverage. But overall, I thought they did good. And the only real pain point was, again, the tongue because it was so thin if you have to tie the laces super tight. But overall, it performed well. I would just be kind of wary if you have a really narrow foot and you need to kind of cinch those laces. Uh, but it did have a nice lockdown. My only suggestion would be to add a few more eyelets just so you do have a more comprehensive lace coverage. There's quite a bit of branding or logos on the Cloud Monster's upper. Essentially, you have a plastic over overlay that runs the width of the shoe that gives the upper just a little bit more structure and then the on logo both in the toe box and the side of the shoe are extremely reflective for nighttime running. Going to the back of the shoe we get a moderate amount of padding nothing too crazy it's kind of my perfect sweet spot where it's not too plush and it's not too minimal it just has just the right amount of padding and I found that to be very comfortable and secure and the lockdown I thought or the heel lockdown essentially was was very good it was basically impossible to kind of when I get lazy I try to slide my foot out of the shoe and I couldn't do it because the lacing and the heel counter were so I guess well connected to my foot so if you're someone who likes to slide your foot in now the shoe this is not the shoe to do it in uh, but it does provide a nice level of lockdown the heel counter itself is also very flexible pretty easy to move around becomes a little bit more stiff and rigid as you get towards the foam molding and the other thing I'll say too is that it is a very tall heel counter so it doesn't have an L fear what kind of like bends away from your Achilles it just it's very vertical and I did notice some Achilles rubbing just because it is so tall so depending on what socks you wear um, I would probably go with maybe like ankle or high ankle socks just because it is very tall and I did notice some Achilles rubbing uh, when wearing these things for a long period of time so I would keep that in mind. Now moving on to the midsole and this is why the shoe has kind of drummed up so much excitement is because it features On's largest Cloud Tech units. So Cloud Tech is these individual pieces here that essentially collapse when you step on them and then rebound when you step off and On included 10 of them throughout the entire midsole you can actually see right through the midsole, uh, which is kind of cool, unique feature of the shoe, but it's On's largest ever, and they feature 10 of them throughout the midsole. 
Now the film that makes up the cloud tech units in the midsole itself is something called Helion, which according to On, it's their basically super foam, if you will. It's supposed to be light, durable, and temperature resistant. But it does provide a really interesting ride, so they're kind of throwing all their cool components in here with their super foam and their large uh, or largest cloud tech pieces. Another big component to the shoe itself and most on running shoes, especially the Cloud Monster, is the speedboard, which you can see between these two components here. Essentially, it's the plastic plate that runs the full length of the shoe, and this plastic plate essentially stiffens up the shoe, makes it a little bit springier, uh, and provides a more stable experience as you kind of press down on all these different Cloud Tech components. There also is a pretty significant rocker geometry towards the front of the shoe. You kind of see how the toe curves up. So when you are running through, it is pretty noticeable. So there's a lot going on. You got the rocker geometry, the speedboard, the cloud tech, and the Helion foam. So how does this all feel well on foot? This is definitely the softest on shoe and they classify it as a max cushion. However, I think if you compare it to the broader scope of shoes on the market, it's probably more like a mid cushion shoe uh, just because on shoes are typically on the more firm, more responsive side of things. And I think this is just like the softest version of all the on shoes so if you kind of put it in the scope of on or put it in their world yes it is a max cushion shoe but if you kind of take a step back and compare it to all the running shoes i would consider this more like a mid cushion shoe that being said it does have a nice level of cushion however i'll add some caveats because it is a interesting and unique experience because of how it's all set up so essentially you can kind of feel that plastic speedboard right beneath your foot so it feels i guess a little bit more firm if you will but you'd end up getting that squish because you press the plastic plate down into the foam itself and those cloud tags components and then on top of that you notice it mostly in the forefoot it feels like most of the cushion is in that forefoot region I was able to kind of bottom out the heel a little bit more quickly than I was the forefoot which I thought was quite interesting and then on top of all of that the forefoot was just like a tad bit unstable and the reason for that is the cloud tech itself so I'll show a video on the screen but when I step down you kind of get like a little side to side motion because essentially your foot is elevated and the cloud tech structures aren't as like structurally sound kind of doing a side to side motion I think they're more meant for like kind of straightforward compression. So if you kind of like twist your foot side to side and you kind of get those micro movements, it just feels a tad bit just different or a little bit like I, I'm more unstable is probably the best way. It's not like an, a truly unstable experience, but it's like these small micro movements that go side to side because you're compressing these cloud tech components that aren't filled with anything in the middle. And I realize that's kind of a weird explanation, but it is a different sensation compressing uh, hollowed out cloud tech units rather than a solid chunk of foam. So I'd be really interested to run an on shoe that is just pure Helion foam rather than having cloud tech units. So just something to think about, but it does provide a nice well cushioned experience, a nice flow to it with the speed board uh, right below your foot and then the nice rocker geometry, which kind of keeps you up on your toes and going. Now, I really did enjoy running in this shoe. I thought the speed board provided a nice plated experience, but kind of like a less aggressive carbon fiber plate. So you kind of get the same properties just in a less aggressive manner where it kind of gives you that springy uh, effect, if you will. And I thought the cushioning did well, again, just with a weird kind of caveat in the forefoot where you kind of notice a little bit side to side motion. But overall, I thought the cushioning was good. It just does feel different because you're collapsing units rather than just a single block of foam. Now, I don't know if I consider this like a long run shoe. I'd probably give it like a medium run shoe just because you have the speed board or the plastic speed board that sits right underneath your foot. And, you know, when you put a ton of miles in or if you just wear it all day, you start to feel that plastic board right beneath your foot that then compresses the foam. So it feels like you're kind of standing on plastic that then is on top of foam. So it's a little bit different compared to some other max cushion shoes, just because again, you have the plastic speedboard on sitting on top of foam. But overall, it was really fun to run in. Um, not the fastest shoe ever, but definitely just an enjoyable experience and a good daily trainer. Moving on to the outsole, you do get the typical on cloud tech with the rubber in the forefoot and heel section. Heel section does have a little bit more rubber than the forefoot for added durability. Now with regard to traction, if you're running on the road, I didn't notice any issues. Grass is probably a no-go. I did notice some slipping just because you don't have so much surface area to grip the ground. But overall, for most running, I really didn't have too much of an issue. Of course, with on shoes, you do have to worry about things getting stuck in these little cloud tech units, which can be an issue, which I think primarily just, just this exposed part through the midfoot. Um, but with some other shoes, you will notice like squeaking or just like some issues or noises or acorns or whatever getting stuck in the midsole, uh, which I think a lot of on shoes have. So just, just keep that in mind. So those are my basic thoughts about the shoe. Let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like so much. The first big positive is you take a look at a shoe like this and it looks like it's going to weigh 10 or 11 ounces and it only comes in at like so it's really light, feels very nice on foot for being such a large, well-structured shoe. 
The next positive for me was the lockdown of the ankle and Achilles region. It felt very secure, didn't have any heel movement at all, and just felt like I was locked in to the back of the shoe. I'll also say I think it looks pretty cool and I realize this is super subjective, but to have a running shoe that performs like this one does and look as nice as this one does, I think is a huge plus. Of course, the shoe wasn't perfect and there are a couple things I think could probably be improved upon. The first negative for me was that the forefoot was just a smidge too wide. Maybe they bring it in, kind of clean up the fit, make it a little bit less sloppy in the forefoot region. I think that will go a long way. I'll also say I wish they add some more eyelets for lacing so you get a little bit more comprehensive lace coverage so you don't have to kind of pull these as tight or you get a little bit more customization as, as how to you lace up the shoe itself. I'll also note that the heel counter or the Achilles section is rather tall, which helps with the lockdown, but depending on what socks you wear or your running style, you might get a little bit of rubbing. So uh, there might be a little bit of break-in period for some people. And the last negative for me was the forefoot kind of like micro movements. And what do I mean by that? Again, I kind of explained it earlier on in the video, but essentially you have these large cloud tech units, which are the largest ever. So you have these large gaps between where your foot sits with the speed board and then the base of the shoe with the outsole. So essentially outsole hits the ground and then you're collapsing, you have a little bit of kind of like side to side motion because these are essentially just these tall walls with nothing in between. So I'd be curious to see if you build more stable, a little bit more fluid, or just has less, like again, micro movements is probably the best way to describe it. And again, I'll throw the video to show exactly what I'm talking about on the screen. Um, I'd be curious to see if it's just all one piece of Helion foam, what that would do, because they call this their super foam, but we don't get like a true understanding of what that looks like because you have these large, basically gaps in the midsole. And I'd be curious to see how it performs against other so-called super foam. So just something to note, um, just kind of one of those interesting factors where it's like, oh, you don't really notice that on other typical shoes because there aren't these large, basically columns and holes in the middle of the shoe. Well, that concludes my review. I'd love to hear what you guys think of ongoing with these larger cloud tech units. Is this really like legit technology? Do you love it? Do you hate it? And what do you think of the styling? I think a lot of people wear these for like lifestyle shoes as well. And I'd love to see what you guys think. So let me know in the comments uh, and I will try to respond to you as quickly as I can. Well, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Running Reviews. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.